Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here again with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. And in this one, it's going to be a little unique. I'm going to show you how to arrange the posts that are shown in the Divi blog module, or whether that would be posts or custom posts or, you know, products or, you know, projects, whatever you're using the Divi blog module for. I'm going to show you how to show them in alphabetical order. By default, they would show based on the published date of the blog post, but depends what you're showing. You know, if it's pages or, or some other post type or whatever, you may want to show them in alphabetical order. So this little trick will show you how to do it. Let's get started. So you probably know that by default, the Divi blog module will show the blog post in the order that they were published chronologically. Um, it's technically reverse chronological order because the most recent one is at the top and that's how it always is. Anytime you post a new one, they're arranged by date and that's great, especially for a blog post. But you have to remember that there are other use cases for the blog module. So this tutorial is for the blog module not necessarily just for blog posts. So you got to keep that in mind as you're, you know, looking at this tutorial. And I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm going to show you this demo right here. I just have a blog module set up. It, you know, it's, it's just a blog module. I'll have it styled a little bit, but you can look here, see the titles here, and you can see the dates as well. They're all um, random stuff here. But um, the first one, blog post example, starts with a B. Next one starts with an H. Next one starts with an A, D, H, A, you know, whatever. That's because they're just in order by date. It has nothing to do with the title. We're going to put them in order by title. And so I'm going to enable the visual builder here and just show you one more thing. So the blog module is set to posts by default. Um, and, and that's right here, the post type. So when you open up the settings, the very first item here inside the settings under content is post type and it's on posts. Now, under, when you click on that, this will change depending on what's installed on your site. But in general, you're going to have posts, pages, media, projects. If you have WooCommerce, you're going to see products. Um, if you have the events calendar, you have events, you know, etc. custom post type, cats, etc. So posts and pages, projects and products, those are the common ones that you'll, you would have on your Divi website. So just keep that in mind. It's, it's set to this right now and in the snippet, that's what it is by default as well. But we can come in here and remember we can change this later depending on what we are displaying in the blog module. So I'm actually just gonna get out of here where we don't need to do anything actually in the, in the visual builder in this tutorial. Usually we do, we have to usually add classes and CSS and stuff, but not for this one. This one we are actually adding PHP. So if you go back to the blog post here, uh, we talk about the blog series that we're doing and all that. It's, it's, we've been doing a lot in the blog module series, but here we say about what, we, what we're doing. We're, we're modifying the PHP of the, of the blog module to, to change the order that it's shown of course, by default. And we need to put this code in a functions.php file. And so you need a child theme. So normally, you know, I usually have CSS or jQuery or something like that. And you can, you can put that in theme options in Divi. Um, but in this tutorial, we will, you will need a, a child theme. There are some plugins that are like code snippet plugins that work great for this as well. Um, but I always just recommend a child theme. So here it is, you know, you can copy this and this will give us our start. In fact, you, we could even look at it real quick in the code here. You can see that it does say post type and then if post, that is the post type that remember that's the one chosen by default. Later on, I'll show you, we can change this. We could say project here. Um, page, you know, etc. And then you can see it says order by and title and then order ascending. Okay. So we're just, we're changing order. This order by title is kind of the, the key, I guess you might say 
instead of my date and everything. So go ahead and copy this all here and then go to your WordPress dashboard. So you would want to go to like your dashboard and then look for appearance and then go down here to theme editor. So a lot of times Divi is set to default here over in the right hand side upper corner here is it says select theme to edit. You'll need to change that to your child theme. Um, in this case, the free child theme by PA Creative. If you don't have one yet, you can download that on our site in the link in the blog post. So, and then once you have that selected, it'll, it'll pull up all the files here on the right hand side. You want to click on functions.php and um, yours will be blank. Mine has some code in it already for various things, but you would just scroll down to the bottom like this and then paste your code where you know below your other code all right and then always you know click the blue button to update the file so there's the code that we just added in the functions.php file of the child theme all right so now i'm back here where the blog module is and i'm going to refresh the page now so right here i'm going to refresh you're going to see it change live here just like me all right so let's take a look. Let's see if it if it did it correctly. Um, remember that I think the first one was an A and then maybe an H and a D or something. All right, let's take a look. A, A, B, B, D, H, H. It's all in order. So it's an alphabetical order. It worked. It was instant, just like that. Our blog posts are showing like that. Now the dates, let's look at the dates here. October... 8th, April 29, February 8th, 2021. See, it's it's not by date anymore. And that's exactly what we want. Um, and, and now I'll just show you the other thing, like if you were showing pages in here. So you would go in here and change this. Okay, I'll just go in here, change the post type to pages. And then, you know, a lot of my pages on on this particular site I did not add featured images but if you had you know it would, they would look the same they would they really would they would look this you know using the blog module for these other things it looks pretty much the same as the blog post um, but just in my case I did not have images but you can see that even though now I'm on um, pages names of pages but they're not in alphabetic order there is BB but then there's M B I B uh, you know, M, P, S, you know, right? They're not in alphabetical order because our code was targeting um, the post type posts. Now we need to change that to page. So let's get back in there. So right here, just change this. Say page. It's just, you know, small case, just page like that. And we'll save that. Now we'll go take a look. And now it should work great because everything's lined up now. Okay. In fact, we have a, a thumbnail on this one, a featured image, A, B, A, N, B, 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 and it, you know, then it moves to the second letter, you know, in alphabetic order. Um, and if we were showing more here, it would keep going and going. So it works great for pages as well. Um, one thing that you would probably have a good use case for is projects. So I'm just gonna choose projects here. Now remember, these are like what would normally show in the portfolio or the filterable portfolio, but you may not like those. You may, you know, for example, the, those portfolio modules don't have an excerpt. They don't show the excerpt. Um, and so, you know, here they do in the blog module. So there are use cases for sure. And, and besides, there's, think about all of my other tutorials for styling the blog module. Well, they still apply here. Um, you know, the portfolio modules are totally different. So you're not going to find nearly as many tutorials and things like that. So here we are. I have these four projects. Now, this one's, I, I, I should probably just go in here and rename some of these quick. Um, obviously, project one, two, three, four. There's nothing alphabetical about them. So why don't I just do a trick here? I'm going to go into this one and name it something with an A. I'll refresh here now. And so I have a project too. All right, and we're just gonna use that as our example. Well, they're not in alphabetical order because now I need to go back to the child theme and change it to projects. 
So just go in here, change page, project, just singular like that, project, update the file, and refresh here. There we go. So A project moved first, um, and then one, three, four. So there you go. That's with projects, and you can do the same with products. WooCommerce, when WooCommerce is installed, you can do that. So again, there is a separate module, you know, the Divi shop module that would work, you know, but again, it's the same use case, whether if you might want to just display them differently, maybe you have like more of like a catalog or whatever. So here you can see there's P S F P W W, you know, W W N, you know, all right. So we're going to change that. And again, here you get your excerpt or sh short description and you know you read more you could you could change this with our other tutorial um view view product you know something like that so let's go ahead and change this one to uh, we're going to change it to product so you get the idea by now um basically you're changing it to the post type slug okay now let's refresh this okay f H H N N P P P S S and then it'll be some W. So yeah, there you go. Um, I hope this is a good use case. The only other thing that you could do, well, uh, I mentioned about the order being ascending. You could change that to descending. Okay, so in the code there, right here, like let's say we change this to descending, which would be like D E S C like that instead of ASC and we'll just keep it on the current example for now so now it's going to start on, on the other end obviously the yep W so W W and then you'll see okay I don't have enough showing but you get the idea in fact I'll switch it back to post just to show you okay we'll put it back to that and this will be the last thing I'll show you but basically now we're going to be showing blog posts in um, reverse alphabetical order. Okay, there we go. Starting at H and then D, B, B, A. Okay, so I really hope that was helpful. And if it was, if you learned anything new at all in this whole video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is the kind of stuff we release here every single week. And we have been doing a lot in the blog series, so I really do recommend that you check that out um, over on the blog and on YouTube. Here I just opened up the blog category and I should count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's at least 15 in just the blog module series as of February 2021. And I have a bunch more planned. So there we go. That's what you get when you follow along here. And, and like I always say, I really do hope that you've learned something here. Um, and that this can be practical. And if you have a good use case that I either mentioned or didn't mention, also let me know that. I'm probably missing some as well. All right, so there you go. Kind of an unusual one, but um, sometimes, you know, people ask for that and, and there's use cases for that, like I said. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you do, be sure you are subscribed and we'll see you all in the next video.